Hi, welcome back to the shop. Well, I haven't been able to spend a lot of time out in the garage here the last couple of weeks because I had some electricians come in and I had to tear the shop down so that they could install some additional outlets along the walls as well as in the ceiling so I can put in some more lights because apparently the older you get, the darker the world becomes. But um, I haven't got the lights installed yet, but I can do that here. Hopefully within the next couple episodes, things will appear a little bit brighter. Today, we're going to get back onto the, the computer desk and uh, we're going to work on assembling the main carcass. Now the last time we uh, cut all the components for the top and the sides. Today we'll go ahead and assemble those panels and then we'll assemble the main carcass um, using Baltic birch for the back as well as the base. But before we get started today, I would like to take a moment to talk about shop safety. Be sure to read, understand, and follow all the safety instructions that come with your power tools. And if you don't understand how to do something or use a, a tool correctly, find somebody that's competent that can show you how to do that. And remember, there's no more important safety rule than to use this, your brain. Because to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Uh, this is one of the panels um, that I'm going to be using in this. Um, the flat side is going to be the side that's going to be out so that people can see, although we did uh, raise the panel um, last time, uh, and that will be, be on the inside, and I did that just because I like raised panels. But this project is for my wife, so the flat panel goes on the outside. To get to this point in the finishing process, I uh, sanded it with a random orbital sander, to 150, I put on a solution of uh, polyurethane, is a gloss polyurethane mixed with uh, uh, mineral spirits, cut that uh, 50%, um, put a coat on, I sanded it with 220 with an orbital sander, and I put on another uh, coat of that, that mixture, and I came back, sanded it again with uh, 320, and put my third coat on. Um, and it's actually almost getting too smooth at this point. So I'm going to go ahead, my final coat, I actually want it to be a semi-gloss. I don't want it to be a real shiny uh, finish. So I'm going to go ahead, and this time I'm going to hand sand it and try to get out any of those little swirl marks. Uh, they're pretty hard to see, but if you look real close, you can see them here and there. Uh, so I'll hand sand it with the grain, and then I'll do my final coat of, it'll probably be a 50-50 mix again with uh, uh, mineral spirits and a semi-gloss polyurethane to go on here. Let's go ahead and get started and, and uh, I'm going to be sanding for a while. Now that I've completed putting the final finish on the panels themselves, it's time to go ahead and do the glue up. I've done a dry assembly as you can see and everything fits just fine. When I actually made the panels, I did make them just a little bit smaller than the opening that they were going to go into uh, to allow for expansion um, of the material, uh, especially since the panels are flat sawn. In order to keep them from rattling around in there, um, I've gone ahead and I've cut some little foam pieces, and this is just out of a, uh, some of the, uh, the anti-fatigue mat that's on the floor of the, the shop here, and I've just cut some small pieces out of a scrap and I can insert those inside the styles and rails. They'll fit just a little bit snug and they have enough give that they'll hold these panels in the center and keep them from rattling around. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. We'll start by gluing in the center style and then we can go ahead and insert the panels and then put in the outer styles. I'm using a fairly small brush because I want to be as exact as I can. I don't want a lot of glue squeeze out on my inside corners where it's really difficult to clean it up.
The last thing I want to do is make sure it's square. 31 and 5 sixteenths. 31 and 5 sixteenths. That's good. Set this aside and move on to the next one. Now that the panels have been assembled and all the joints are sanded flush and, and any excess glue has been removed, we can go ahead and cut the rabbets to re receive the back and the top. To make the rabbet, I put a half inch upcut spiral bit in the router table and I've set it to the final height of 3 8 and I'll just take small cuts until I get my 3 quarter inch depth. I finally got the rabbits done for the top, the back, as well as the bottom, and I'm ready to do, do some assembly. I did cut the, the plywood down to size for the back as well as the bottom, and we'll be securing those with glue as well as nails. The top I'm going to try to just secure, at least where it's visible, with just glue. Well, that's about it for this episode. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap down here, and I did that on purpose. I'm going to put a piece of, uh, of cherry in here so that you'll see hardwood if, if you look down and see that portion of it. Next time, uh, we'll start working on the doors for this. I will probably have some finish on this a little bit farther along, and we can start working on the doors uh, as well as maybe part of the interior. As usual, I always appreciate your comments, questions, and suggestions. Feel free to email me uh, at andrew at thelevelplumbandsquare.com. Until next time, enjoy your day. set it for the final height which is 3 8 and I'll just push uh, oh.